Okay, we've got a Delco 37MT starter. We're just going to uh, do a bench test. Uh, hooked up to the solenoid, and we got uh, battery power to my. This is a remote starter switch. It's the best way to go. You can use a jumper wire. This is the best way to uh, do the test. Okay, we got battery to the positive terminal on the solenoid ground on the starter motor and this is the ground off the winding from the solenoid goes directly to ground and this goes through the frame and here's the uh, connector from the solenoid to the motor main power feed okay what we do is we hook up our remote switch battery power and to the switch terminal on the solenoid Okay, we got, we got our solenoid winding, right? It's an electromagnetic switch. So when it's energized, it sucks in the contacts for battery to run the motor, and also runs the, uh, the starter drive. And the nose housing does the same thing. It's basically how, how uh, most starters work. And I'll just do a little demo here. Okay, we're hooked up, ready to go. Have a look at the drive. There's two jobs at the same time. Once the windings are energized, the, it creates a magnet, and then the uh, contacts the main plates from the battery to the motor. At the same time, there's a fork that uh, it gets sucked back with the solenoid, and then, of course, engages the uh, the drive gear. That's about it. That's a quick way to uh, bench test a star to see if it works. It's not a load test, but it, uh, at least you know it's working.